Well, YouTubers, and welcome back. And it's hot, it's crap out today. I'm tired, I've been traveling a lot for work, so I haven't gotten too much done on this guy right here. But I'm doing, today I'm gonna to cover one of the most underappreciated and least talked about subjects when it comes to rebuilding motors. Anything you're gonna do in cars is, I'm talking about cleaning. That is probably literally half your job for you doing anything with motors, turbos, assembling things. If it's not clean, you're disassembling, you're putting it back together, you got to clean off all the gasket material, all the RTV, whatever you use to seal that up, and you gotta make that surface clean. So today, we're talking about just that. I know, it looks like I haven't done much to this poor guy right here, but I did put on the oil pan and I'm getting to these guys right here. This one, I've got to clean up. You can see I got all this right here. Had to pull the gasket off. Where is it at in here? Yep. Had to pull the gasket off. I don't reuse gaskets. If you're one of those guys that puts a little wheel on there and goes I just don't do that. I think it takes off too much material, especially on this side. You gotta be very careful. After all this is a machine, you wanna put it back together, not screw up your clearances. Being very gentle with your cleaning, in my opinion, is more important than just zipping it off and getting it clean. So over here, we have the other head, which is ready to go. One thing I really gotta do is just clean off uh, the, um, what do I use? I use this guy right here. I use, I use engine degreaser. It does a pretty darn good job at cleaning off all that carbon and crap on there. I think it's a little better than WD-40. I just started using this. But you gotta be careful with this because it is toxic, so make sure you wear gloves. Now, of course, this is gonna be way easier to clean than a head that's been on there for a long time because this has only ran for about mm, maybe uh, five, six, probably five, six miles before I had to pull it out, which you guys know because Went back to the machine shop. Anyways, we won't talk about that. So we're talking about cleaning it. So maybe you're in a situation where you have to use all your parts that have been machined and set up, but you got to clean off all this crap to reassemble it. That's what we're going to talk about. And I'll show you some pretty fast working techniques. You're not going to dig in here because I would definitely wouldn't use any spinoff wheels or harsh sandpaper to get this clean. Let me show you what I use. Right here we have 500 grit sandpaper. This is the harshest that I use. And right here we have this uh, scotch bright material. Man, you know, I forget what this is called. Uh, I'll look it up and I'll put the link bing, right there. But it's it's uh, not very harsh and it's uh, pretty good. Uh, once you use it for a while on other stuff that's, uh, you know, like metal or whatever to clean some thicker stuff off, it starts to get a lot more soft and pliable. And I use that on aluminum. Aluminum is really, really easy to scratch and to dig in here. And one more thing that I use, I use a very dull kitchen knife. I do not use razor blades on this because razor blades are just too easy just to dig into the aluminum. So I'll use this and I never use a knife on this side of the cylinder head, especially if you're gonna re-bolt it up because aluminum, it's really easy to scratch and then screw up your surface. So you don't wanna do that. So on the uh, head side, I'm gonna use this guy right here. Literally, I can just, you know, do this for about a minute and it won't hurt my finger. It's only good enough to get this stuff off right here. It leaves a little bit of a, uh, you know, you know, scuff on here but it's so, so fine. It's only um, where it hits the light. You can't catch it at your fingernail, so it's definitely gonna be fine. But if you're gonna do anything like clean up this before assembly on this side of the cylinder head, especially if you're running MLS gaskets like me over there, this surface has to be perfect. And this is about all I would use on that side. All right, so down in the corner, we have a little shot back. I kind of keep this right here. And remember, these heads only have like five miles on them since they've been completely clean, assembled, lapped in the valves, everything like that. So there's no way in the face of God's green earth am I going to disassemble this, all the valves out to clean this. So you want to make sure when you're cleaning this, nothing gets down in the ports. So that's why I got the shot back here. And I am just going to take this guy right here. Remember, this is a dull kitchen knife. 
I'm just going to take this guy here and clean it. I'm going to uh, fast forward through when I have all this done. I'm also trying to do it so I don't block, so it's a little harder. So let's go ahead and clean it up with Rick. And all right, I just looked at my camera and that took like two minutes. So that's not too bad to get all that off. It may help if the other end is plugged in, right? Got a little closer so you can see. So we're gonna take our Scotch Bright pad, spray a little bit of uh, engine degreaser on there. Hopefully I hit my lens. All right, so you got it on there. You just take it and just do this right here. And there we go, nice and clean. This little guy gets the job done quick, and as you can see, there is no scratches on here from the dull kitchen knife or from this. So this can definitely be done on this side right here. But I said I would only use this on the cylinder head side, you know, that, that bolts up to your block, because that has to be perfect, especially MLS gaskets. So I use something that's completely non-scratchable and ruinable to your surface, something like this. Okay, so I went ahead and just did what I did right here. Did it to the entire surface of this side with the intake bolts up. But now, see, we used engine degreaser and uh, it does does leave a little uh, film on there which uh, will keep gaskets or whatever from sticking to it or RTV. So at the very end, you have to take some brake clean and get all that off. So now we got still got a bunch of crap on there. So let's uh, hit it up one more time on a fresh side of the pad. Let's just do a little bit more right here. Okay, we'll call that clean enough. <laughs> There's just a tiny, tiny bit right there. I could hit it up four more times, but right before I assembled, I'll hit it up one more time. But as far as now, that's clean enough. Let's move on to this side right here. So we're definitely gonna use the Scotch-Brite engine degreaser. And this is how you know if you have a motor that's uh, barely been run, because this stuff will not come off nearly this quickly if it's been on there for any extended time, more than like, you know, five, 10 miles. So we're gonna take this guy, and then we're just gonna see how quickly that's coming off. That's how you know this motor has hardly any runtime on it, which is why I'm not disassembling the heads because they are perfectly fine. And that is pretty much it. And I know you don't have to get all up in here because the moment you fire up, all that's just gonna get set up with uh, carbon anyways. But while you're here, you might as well clean it up. It makes you feel better that it's looking clean like that. So let's go ahead and grab the brake clean now and get all the engine degreaser off. So if you listen to this, this is what you call squeaky clean. You ready? There it is. 
that squeaky clean. And that's exactly how you assemble um, your MLS gaskets, brand new gaskets on these guys right here. You want both of your surfaces to be completely dry. If you're reusing them, there's something that a lot of guys are using to uh, uh, spray on those, then they put them on there. Of course, they've been reused, they're not perfect uh, like they are right here. So that's my only tech tip of the day, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt these guys up and then my next video hopefully will be this guy right here in this turd right here. Thanks for subscribing, keep your stuff clean, and peace.